Here are 10 things absolutely ruined by assholes. Uh, a lot of good things that maybe I like, maybe a lot of people liked, but unfortunately they've become corrupted uh, or tied up with toxic negative either ideologies, groups, or whatever. And uh, I want to sort of do this list as a way of saying goodbye to these things, sort of burying them. Um, but anyway, uh, I do have 10, and uh, here we go. Uh, number 10, and, and this is definitely an order of me caring the least, but I think it's worth noting that uh, Punisher, you know, the character of the Punisher, I think a lot, a lot of people like the Punisher character. I don't, I don't really care. I didn't watch the show on Netflix or anything. But there's nothing, like, inherently wrong with the Punisher character until people decided to co-opt it to defend police brutality. The idea that... And by the way, one of the things that gets me the most about these things being ruined is the people doing the ruining so fundamentally misunderstand what the point of the thing is, and this is definitely true when it comes to Punisher, but the idea that authority figures should get away with crimes, including murder, and that's okay, don't worry, they're badass, they're Punisher. Ugh. The actual person who made Punisher hates how it's been co-opted. I would be furious too if I were them. Anyway, that's number 10. Number nine, this has actually more directly affected me because I uh, always have allergies and my allergies frequently turn into uh, sinus infections. Sudafed. Sudafed has been ruined by assholes because they decided to, to turn it into something else and they made it so the rest of us can't get it just to deal with our medical problems. There's other stuff you can get, I guess, and in theory you can get a prescription, but it used to be so simple to get something that was an effective, almost immediate solution to a health problem that affects me and a lot of other people. But unfortunately, we can't have it because some people needed to make drugs out of it or whatever. Number eight is a simple one that doesn't affect me, but might affect, for instance, JR. Uh, and that is uh, Red Hats. Red Hats have been utterly ruined by assholes. Uh, I'm sure there's some of you who are still wearing red hats. You're still fighting that fight, but I, I couldn't do it. Look at me. Like, JR maybe could wear a red hat and people wouldn't immediately think that he was a MAGA head. But if, I, if someone that looked like me was wearing a red hat, you would instantly assume that I'm an asshole. But I'm not an asshole. They're assholes. They just decided that red hats were going to be their thing. And now that's it for red hats. And think about all of the different organizations and sports teams, maybe charities, that had long had red hats as part of their thing. All that's ruined now. It's amazing. Uh, the next one, number six, is going to be... 10, 9, 8, 7. Number seven is uh, one that has... It wouldn't stop me from buying this thing or using this thing, but motorcycles have been, to a large extent, ruined uh, by assholes. Uh, and it really depends on what area of motorcycledom you're in. Uh, Harley Davidsons have become so tied to like 50 year old dentists who just want to pretend to be badasses that that brand has almost entirely uh, been ruined. Sports bikes also, uh, assholes who want to go 120 miles per hour on the highway, uh, that's ruined it. People who go through residential areas, like, you know, making as much noise as possible has ruined it. Um, I've, ridden mo I've owned and ridden many motorcycles in my life. I owned a Harley Davidson at one point. I'm not interested in any of that stuff. I just think it's a, it's a cool thing to use. I enjoy actually riding, but it's been kind of ruined. And this one also has been ruined not just by the people who use it, but by the people who don't. Being able to ride a motorcycle has, to a large extent, in my view, been ruined by everyone else, uh, you know, driving while texting constantly and driving like assholes, honestly, making it incredibly unsafe. It was always less safe to ride a motorcycle, but now far more so. The fact that humans are so terrible, both inside and outside of that community, has ruined a, a form of transportation that's been around for over a century at this point. So thanks a lot for that, humanity. Uh, number six is going to be a big one, tied in with politics in America, if not in other parts of the world, and that is guns. And I say this as a person who has fired a number of guns in my life. I used to go with my father to a shooting range. I've been to other shooting ranges. My father was a hunter and owned a bunch of guns. But they've kind of been ruined. I Look, I genuinely like guns. I find them to be interesting technology. I like the history of it, all of that. I enjoy playing first-person shooters. And there are perfectly good reasons to have guns, including for hunting. 
but it has become so tied in with not just being a conservative, but specifically being a like a fake revolutionary conservative who wants you at least to believe that they fantasize about killing the FBI or cops or the military or whoever. It just sort of ruins the whole thing. It doesn't super affect me. I'm probably never going to own a gun in my life, but I just wish that they would lay off a little bit. There's no reason that that entire technology should be tied in with one horrible ideology. Okay, number five. These are the most important, the ones I, I care perhaps the most about. Uh, it is going to be the letter Q. I know that this might be a weird one, but have you noticed as you've gone about your day over the past few years how many things had a queue that are now ruined. There are bit, There's a queue salon not too far from where I live. And I'm amazed that they're sticking with it. That's like being ISIS Studios or something at this point. Um, the actual character queue from Star Trek now has nothing to do with the conspiracy theory. And yet I can't help but think of the conspiracy theory whenever I say it. It is literally 126th of the letters we have. And it might, for the rest of our lives, be unable to be used without invoking absolutely insane satanic panic conspiracy theories that is powerful i mean what when has the left ever ruined an entire letter thankfully it's one of the rarer ones but not rare enough not based on what i've seen number four is going to be teslas and honestly to some extent electric cars now it hasn't been fundamentally ruined for me my next car is going to be an electric car uh, I can't wait to get back into an electric car once, you know, I can afford it. But um, especially Teslas, it's like the, the Elon Musk thing has affected my view of that company. Now, I always consider them to be too expensive. And, you know, there's a lot of concerns about the, the, the technology, fit and finish, and the fact that they don't get updated. And the, the new models are always many years out, late and when they uh, come out from what they said they would be. But, um, yeah, it being tied to Elon Musk certainly doesn't help. Now, my hope is that because this has been ruined by assholes, maybe some assholes will actually buy electric cars right now, and maybe they'll even buy non-Tesla electric cars. But I would really just prefer that electric cars, which I think are an important part of dealing with climate change, would not be tied in with assholes at all. And unfortunately now, they have been because of Elon Musk. And by the way, I'm going to give him a twofer. My number three is going to be Twitter. Uh, I, I'm, I'm mostly okay with this one being ruined, although Twitter is one of the most important social media networks for my career, for a lot of people in news and politics and political commentary and stuff like that. It's an important one, and he is in the process of ruining it right now. This is the only one where this is really an ongoing thing right now. He just had to go and ruin it. He had to make it about him. He had to make it about his ideological bullshit. And Twitter didn't need that. Twitter already had enough issues. It's always had issues. And it's been far too slow to actually address the concerns of genuine users of the service. But I don't see how it's going to be better with Elon Musk. We're in, if you're watching this you know, later, we're in the middle of the verification thing and people being banned for making fun of him. It's, an, it's just a massive mess. He just laid off like half the company and now they're asking for people to come back. It's pathetic. But perhaps not as, uh, I guess, substantive consequential as my number two, which is uh, medicine. Medicine has been ruined by assholes, specifically vaccines, but not just vaccines. No, there are millions and millions and millions of Americans that, because of assholes, don't trust doctors anymore. They don't trust the CDC, Dr. Fauci specifically, but basically anyone who would try to save their life during an emergency they don't trust anymore. They don't think that they have their best interest at heart because someone who definitely doesn't have their best interest at heart is in the process of conning them. And this is, look, legitimately, this should probably be number one in terms of substance. I'll, I'll explain why my number one is what it is. But this is so important for our ability to deal with future diseases, future pandemics and outbreaks. People are not going to trust vaccines for the rest of their life as a result of this. Many, many people have already died because of this. Many more will die because of this. In, you know, outbreaks that we, of diseases we don't even know about right now, our ability to deal with those will be hampered by the efforts of right-wingers during the pandemic. That is devastating. You know, most of this is supposed to be funny, but this one's super serious. Anyway, my number one, though, 
it's not nearly as important as the vaccine thing, but it's more personal to me. It is the identity of being a gamer that has been ruined by assholes. Now, being a gamer hasn't been ruined by assholes. There's still plenty of great games. Um, uh, as of when I'm recording this, God of War Ragnarok is about to come out, and I am looking forward to um, playing through that. I really enjoy the last one. I've heard great things about this one. In fact, uh, I plan with some of my friends playing through it and then discussing it uh, on the Peanut Butter Storytime Patreon uh, its story specifically. But anyway, there, there are great games. Red Dead Redemption 2 was amazing. The Last of Us 2 was great. I still occasionally play, you know, Fall Guys or Fortnite or, uh, you know, League of Legends is a little bit old school at this point. But there are great games that come out literally every year. It's the identity, though. And maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe we don't need the identity. Maybe that was never a positive thing. But what the hell does gaming have to do with being a misogynist? or a transphobe, or a racist, a white supremacist? What does any of that have to do with anything? Except that, unfortunately, yeah, now it kind of does. They decided that that was going to be a thing. You know, with Gamergate, and it's only gotten worse since then, they've decided that something about being an incel, or just a violent, racist, misogynist asshole... And that's probably about gaming. So I'm going to tie those two things uh, together, and I'm going to convince tons of people who might not even be a part of that community that those things should be connected. They don't need to be, and I would love for gaming to be sort of taken back um, by people who don't hold those ideologies, and it's definitely possible. We've seen that in the RPG space, which is far more inclusive and tolerant and welcoming and diverse um, than actual digital video games. Board gaming, too, is generally pretty good. Maybe not as far along as RPGs, but it just, it doesn't need to be. And look, again, maybe it's for the best. Maybe being a gamer shouldn't be your core identity. And, and honestly, with games becoming so much more mainstream, maybe it doesn't have to be. Maybe we can just play this as one of our hobbies, and that's cool. But for me, it's personal because I've been actively enthusiastic about playing games for decades and decades at this point. It's one of the things that I remember from you know, my earliest memories. And I never could have imagined what some would have twisted that into. Anyway, there's a lot of things that have been co-opted by or unnecessarily seized by asshole forces, either individually or collectively, uh, over the past few years. I'm curious what you think has been ruined by assholes. You can post that down below. Um, and if you have any ideas for top 10 lists, I have one or two more that I'm going to do solo before Francesca comes back. You can post those below as well, and I would love to see your ideas. Thank you, as always, for being a supporter of the channel and of the network, making this extra content possible, and I'll see you soon. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.